Hello and welcome to Steps to Maths. In this a short video, we're going to be looking at fractions and powers of fractions, fractions and indices. So we'll be looking at powers of fractions and we'll be looking at fractional powers. Let's see what I mean by that. So firstly, powers of fractions. So we know that powers in a sense means multiplying by itself several times. So let's see what we get when we've got a fraction like 3 eighths cubed. That would mean 3 eighths multiplied by 3 eighths multiplied by 3 eighths. However, we already know that when we're multiplying fractions together, we multiply the numerators together and we multiply the denominators together, which would give us 3 cubed over 8 cubed. So when we have a fraction, which has a numerator and a denominator, we can find the power of these separately. So if we've got 3 eighths to the power of 3, we can find that separately, we can say 3 to the power of 3 over 8 to the power of 3. What about fractional powers? Now this is where we really kind of need to look at the rules and stop thinking about powers as multiplying a number by itself several times. So the first rule we had is that if we're multiplying powers of the same base, we add the powers. Rule two, if we're dividing powers of the same base, we divide, we subtract the second power. And the third rule we had was that if we have a base to a power to another power, then we multiply those powers together. Let's have a look at an example of that. So for example, with rule three, if we've got seven to the power of three, all to the power of four, that would give us seven to the power of 12. Now that followed directly from rule one, which hopefully we saw an example from. However, what if we have something like seven to the power of a half? So instead of a powers of integer numbers, we've got powers of fractional numbers. Seven to the power of a half, all to the power of two. From our rule, our rule says that we multiply those powers together, should give us seven to the power of one. So what we're saying here is that seven to the power of a half multiplied by itself gives us seven. So the question is, what number multiplied by itself gives you seven? And you already know this as the square root of seven. Now the square root is always a positive number. We always want to get a single answer when we're finding powers of numbers. Okay, so let's just have a little example of working with powers. Let's say we had the question 27 squared all to the power of a third. So traditionally what we might have had to do is find 27 squared, which is a large number, and then try and find the cube root of that. So before calculators, this would have been a very difficult problem. So it's always nice to be able to simplify problems as we go along. And when we work with algebra, we'll be trying to simplify our expressions all the time. So let's look at what happens when we've got 27 squared to the power of a third. Well, from rule three, we multiply one power to the other power, means that we've got 27 to the power of two thirds. And these are identical. And this should be exactly the same as 27 to the power of a third squared. That's just a different way of looking at it. Okay, so these aren't just equalities, these are identities. We're saying 27 squared to the power of a third is the same thing as 27 to the power of two thirds, which is necessarily the same thing as 27 to the power of a third to the power of two. Now we know that to the power of third, we're looking for a number when multiplied by itself three times will give us 27. So we're looking for the cubed root of 27 here, which is three. So 27 to the power of a third gives us three, and then three squared gives us nine, and we can do that in our head without having to work out large numbers and with the huge difficulty of trying to find a cube root of something. Okay, so just remember a power of a half meant we're looking for a number which multiplied by itself twice gives us that number. So for example, nine to the power of a half is three because three by three is nine. 27 to the power of a third, we're looking for a number that multiplied by itself three times gives us 27. So you can think of the fractions as square roots, cube roots, and other roots of higher powers. 